Oh, see, this is what we're not going to do. What we're not going to do, we're not going to keep making excuses for each other. Black women have to have a better standard for each other when it comes time for us to represent our race on social media. Because too many times, black women have gotten on to these podcasts and sound ignorant as hell. I don't have to insinuate anything. When someone is lacking the knowledge, it has zero to do with her opinion, especially when a woman is presenting her opinion as if it's factual. This woman is flat out saying, our culture is the only culture that doesn't consider men providers. That's an uncultured statement. It's not about an opinion. She's speaking about it as if it's factual. When I have something to say about somebody, I say what I mean, and I mean what I said, and I don't have to insinuate anything. The problem with a lot of black women is y'all try to support each other regardless to the toxic things you do and or say to each other or to men, and I don't do that. That's why I get called to pick me so much. Y'all just as bad as the men when they get mad at me for calling them dusties. Knowing damn well, I'm not talking about all men. I'm talking about dusties. When it comes to women and it comes time for me to talk about other women who are supposedly representing our race when they get onto these podcasts and this information spread so far, at least don't sound ignorant when you're talking about other people's cultures. You want to misspeak when you're talking about black people. Okay, fine. You want to express your opinion. But when you talking about facts and how other people deal with their culture and what they're doing, you have to speak the truth and accuracy. And she failed to do that in this clip. And I had no problem with saying that a lot of black women have a hard time checking each other and addressing each other when it matters. Y'all check a chick on her cheap weave and her cheap nails and whether she's sleeping with your man or not or she a side chick or all this irrelevant stuff. But when it comes time to talk about stuff that actually matters in our community, y'all don't hold each other accountable enough because you don't have enough knowledge to do so. All I'm saying is know what you're talking about when you get onto these podcasts. If you know that you are going to talk about a specific topic, go do research first. So when you get on to these podcasts and people are talking to you about serious issues, you got a good clap back. And what you say makes sense and what you say is accurate. Too many times black women have gotten onto a podcast and embarrassed themselves and other women going on to a podcast thinking with their emotions instead of their head. Making all black women look stupid as hell. I had to improve who I was as a woman as well and I did the work and I did the job and I'm still working. I'm still trying to improve me. When I look at another black woman and I see that she needs to fix her crown, I'm gonna reach up and try to fix it for her. I'm not gonna knock it off her head. I'm not gonna sit here and try to pretend that it's not crooked. Y'all protect each other even when y'all being toxic and that's a problem to me. Y'all be holding women accountable for shit that don't even matter but when it do matter, it's like, oh, oh fuck out of here.